Hey, this is Matthew Versteeg with iAutomate, and we are back with the Schema Localizer plugin setup. We are almost all ready to go. Now we get to the fun part where we actually generate our schema markup and get it on your website. So, if you're watching this video, you've already filled out all the schema that you are going to add, okay? Or whatever sections that you have decided you're going to include, hopefully most of them. Now, when you get to the very bottom of the schema form here, you have some different options. It says you can get HTML or short code for the entire form, your nap only, your hours only, your profiles only, or an area served only markup. So, why is this here? This allows you to separate out your markup purely for ease, right? So let's say, for instance, you wanted to have your nap showing uh, just in the footer, but, you know, in a sidebar, you wanted to have your hours showing, or you just wanted the nap uh, in the footer, and you wanted the, your profiles in a different spot. You could do that. Or let's say you wanted to do an area served offer, and you wanted that separated out if you're doing services for that main city not for like a location a separate location landing page or something so a little more advanced content but uh how would you want to use these typically i'm going to generate the entire form all together okay uh if you want to just separate out nap you certainly can but basically as you're building all of this data in the form it is saving it's actually auto saving the data for you but for peace of mind, I always still recommend once you finish everything to hit save data, you'll see that little green thing pop up saying saved, so you know it's saved to this post or page that you're on. So once you've selected what you want, then you have a couple different options here. One, you can hit paste to WP editor. What that's going to do is it's going to paste your short code right into the editor where you were last on, right? So if you're clicked at the end of a paragraph, that's where it's going to insert the short code. If you're at the beginning or it's a blank page, wherever your cursor was before you opened up the form, that's where it's going to paste the short code. If you don't want it to paste right into the page and you just want to get the short code, like say you just built this form on a test page or a page you didn't want somebody to see, you can just hit get shortcode and it will show you the shortcode here. And this can be used anywhere within your entire WordPress site, okay? So if you're just building this on like a, a hidden page or something and you want to use this, this business location uh, somewhere else in the website, like on some locations page or something, you can just copy the shortcode. And as long as you keep this page or post um, you know, in your site, it's, the scheme is attached to it. So you can use this shortcode anywhere throughout the whole site as long as the page that you've made this schema on or post that you've made the schema on stays published, right? It's got to be um, available, obviously, for the database to get. So that's an option. You can get the shortcode and just copy it and put it wherever you want. Now, short codes only work within the main WP editor, okay? So they will not work in some kind of a widget. If you want to put it in a footer or a sidebar, you're going to need to get the HTML. So you want to hit get raw HTML if that's the case. And what it will do is it will show you, you know, all the form data right here, okay, that you want, all right? So in this case, you know, we've got everything in here, and it's pretty simple. You know, once we have it all inside of here, we can just copy all this HTML and paste it into a footer or a sidebar, wherever we want. So you can use these interchangeably. Uh, shortcode HTML, it's going to give you the same result. Once you've pasted the shortcode or the raw HTML into your page or your sidebar or your a footer then you're gonna update your page right and so like in this case I've already put uh, address only here just in the uh, uh, in the editor here if I hit update now it's gonna publish that page and it'll be live uh, if you noticed on the form here you can actually 
go ahead. There's a link right over to Google's uh, structured data testing tool. So you can open this up. And actually, if I open this up, I can actually put my code right inside of here. Okay, and then once I do that, uh, it will validate and show you that the code's all good to go. And, you know, your schema is on the page. So this is how you get the schema actually on the site. You can separate out the different areas how you want it. Uh, I am going to come back in one more video and show you how to clone a location. Or basically, if you're doing a multi-location site, you don't want to have to fill out your category and your hours and, uh, you know, all, all the repeated stuff over and over and over again, uh, like your additional type and whatnot. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. It saves you a lot of time. Uh, you will still need to switch out, like, your map. Um, if you have different profiles for that location, you'll switch those out. You need to switch latitude and longitude out, and of course the map. But it saves you a lot of time from having to pick categories and, and everything else. So we'll come back in one more video on how to do that.